once we've forecasted the asset side of the balance sheet, we need to move to the liability side of the balance sheet. For right now, we're going to skip down to accounts payable. We calculate that also as days. In this case, we're going to look at the accounts payable outstanding divided by the cost of goods sold or cash operating costs in this case uh, on a daily basis. And that gives us 15.7 days, meaning when uh, we receive an item, we pay for it in about 16 days or 16 days are our credit terms. So if we get credit terms from suppliers, let's keep that at 15.7 days and then we can calculate out how we would put that into this into the balance sheet we would look at that number 15.7 times the uh, amount of cost of goods sold outstanding or or used in the year uh, and then divide it by the number of days of the year which I had incorrect which are 365 and that gives us 700 in accounts payable the next thing we do is look at other current liabilities. In this case, uh, we'll keep it simple and we'll look at these relative to revenue. That's the AE5 here in the formula bar. And we'll just look at that 2317 divided by total sales. And that comes out to about 10%. So let's keep that constant for right now. Again, we're doing a lot of constant stuff just to keep things simple. And so how do we come up with this? Well, what we do is we look at the uh, ten point two percent divided by a hundred so we put it in uh, percentage terms and then multiply it times the revenue and then that those two items together is going to give us our current liabilities so we can copy those over and we'll get our current liabilities now what we haven't done yet is the overdraft but we'll get back to that in a bit now, next is long-term borrowing. Well, we've already did that when we looked at our cost of, of borrowing, or our interest costs. So all we have to do in this case is just come down and pull it from line 92 here, the long-term borrowing line. So I'm going to just put it in place. We're going to do the same thing with other liabilities as we did with other short-term or current liabilities. So let's go down to that here. And the other other current or other liabilities is this item and that we put it as a percent of sales and what we get from that is 11.6 percent we'll carry that over and so then all we have to do is multiply that times 11.6 percent divided by 100 times the amount of revenue and then we'll get the amount of other liabilities again if you're analyzing a company in more detail you'll know more about what that's going to be what's in there such as taxes payable and other things and sometimes it may change quite dramatically now that gets us to the end of the liability section so the next thing we want to look at is minorities and this this has to do with the consolidation of companies that that we own and is an accounting term in this case normally minorities is pretty small um, since most companies aren't really holding companies and therefore what we can do is just apply some kind of growth rate or some other rate in this case I'm going to apply a growth rate but as you can see there is no minority items here for McDonald's and therefore uh, I'm not going to I'm just going to carry it over but it's not going to do anything there will be no growth or any items so that gets us to minorities and now what we've got to do is go through uh, the equity section of the balance sheet 